Did I say next time? I meant right now, which is next time, I suppose. Let's head to the railroad, but as you're riding along, you notice a side trail leading towards a gigantic cemetery. You jot the location down on your map, and you discover Reboot Hill. Is that where Franchise's integrity goes to die? Eh. 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 Check it out. Yeah, we'll go check it out. Reboot Hill. Don't worry, it's just paint. Okay. Okay, there wasn't anything there. Uh, do I gotta go up in here? Yeah. Plot number one. You see the ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and depressed above and beyond what's expected for a ghost. Addy ma'am, is there something I can help you with? Oh, it's so awful. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Let's start from the beginning, okay? Well, you see, I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys, and after that, each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I outlived every one of the 24 of them. Uh, you, uh, you know you're a ghost, right? Oh, yes. In fact, I died here in this graveyard where they're all buried. I came to visit them, and I suppose my poor old heart finally gave out. That's not the problem, though. 95 years is a pretty good run, after all. So what'd you forget? Well, I bought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which of them was my favorite. I'm so ashamed I can't bear to leave until I've remembered. I see. Well, maybe I can help you figure it out. Oh, thank you. I'd ever, I'd appreciate that ever so much. No problem, ma'am. Can you remember anything about your granddaughter? Well, I'm quite certain her first name ended in a vowel. Oh, God. I need to take notes. Hold on. I have paper here. I was playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons this weekend. Okay, let's see here. Oh god, I shouldn't have uh, moved the, ma the microphone like that. First name. Name. Ends. In. Vowel. Got it. I remember I was 40 when she was born. Oh no, 37 or was it 42? It must have been somewhere in that range at least. Alright, 37 to 42. When were you born, though? Oh, her first name was longer than her last, just like mine. First. Greater than. Symbol. Last. Okay, anything else? I remember she wasn't buried next to any of my daughters. Alright, buried all next to boys. Buried. Next. Oh, no. Buried, uh... Not buried next to daughters. She could have been buried next to other granddaughters, though. She sniffles a little. She passed at the same age as poor, poor Becky, who was always in such ill health. Died the same year as Becky. Died the same age. I mean, you have to be the same year born to be the same age as someone, right? Uh, died same age as Becky. Unless, no, Becky could have died first at like 20 and then this other lady could have died at 20. Damn it, I don't know. Uh, anything else? Oh, her favorite hobby was knitting. She knitted me a lovely sweater for Crimbo just the year before she died and that's all I can remember. Alright, knitting. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Becky died at the age of uh, seven, brings you to fifty. Another nine brings you up there, so that's sixteen. So she she's sixteen years old. Uh, you're sixteen. Uh, first name longer than last. First name ends in a vowel. Doesn't say she liked knitting, though. Penultimate Becky Smith. Damn it, there's multiple Beckys. This Becky was 24. Wait, the 40s, though. Oh, no, born in the 40s could make her a daughter. Shit in hell. 
Uh, but she can't be buried next to a uh, younger. Which means uh, I hate, I hate it. Oh my god, there's Becky's everywhere. Uh, hey, it's a loosely packed grave. Dig it up. You uncover a coffin that was apparently delivered by mail because it still has the address painted on it. Either that or this was a joke about somebody going to Hellstrom Ranch after they die. You discovered Hellstrom Ranch. Oh my god, there's so many fucking Beckys. I hate it. I give up. Nope. Peace out on this one. Adios. Don't have time for that. YouTube uh, time is a-wasting. I got a video to make here. Uh, let's go back to the railroad and see what they want. Also, let's sit back in the chair again, nicely. I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do on this one. Alrighty, what do you need? Any luck with this whole bridge situation? Not just yet. Wait, what do I need? It's one of those telescopes uh, for tourists. This one was designed by a promising young artist named Edward Munch. Use it. Oh, wait, I need a bridge? What the? What? I don't remember what. You got their jelly beans? Can I have one? Nope. Please? No, get your own. Well, I never. Okay, so. Oh, God. I got stuck by another cactus and I got mostly scabs. Alright, well I can't build a bridge, so next up is Breadwood or the Potemkin Gang. Let's go catch that old Potemkin Gang. El vibrato transponder thingy starts bleeping at you and you play hot and cold with it until you find a weird looking crate behind some rocks. Open the crate, you got El vibrato scraps and an El vibrato punch card. This is a piece of thick paper with a few squares hole pu square holes punched in it. It looks like one of the use one of the ones they used for the census back in the back in ninety. Okay. No entry. Guy shots visiting hours are over. Okay. I'm not allowed. Uh, guy shots. This place is condemned. It's not safe to go in there. Don't go in there, the house is haunted. The bandit looks distraught. What's the matter? I lost my belt buckle. Did you look near the bar? Did you look okay, good luck with that. So I think leave through the back door. So the there's a hole in the outhouse, right? And then One of the ropes holding this thing up, you can knock it over pretty easy, but you should probably hold off until just the right moment. Okay, I need them at the first building. The third building. And the last building, if I can. Which is right now, so I should be able to blow this up just fine. I think. I don't know. Wait. I'm supposed to catch these guys, right? Hmm. Did you look near the sandwich shop? Seriously, there's like a million ghosts in here. Did you look near the town hall? First, third, last. I don't think I'm supposed to kill them. I think you put them there, you kill them. If you put them under the other one, maybe you just flatten them under the house. So, let me... That's the middle one, I do believe. Move her there. 
Tell this guy, hey, go get uh, at the fake horse place. Did you look near the hostlers? All right, and then I can just drop the building on him. Mm, nope, that's second building. Damn it. I don't want to explode them. Uh, did you look near the jail? Oh, but I won't be able to get into the jail if he's there. Okay. She wants me to leave her alone, and I should respect that, but it, uh... Gotta solve this puzzle in this video game. Alright, they're all in front of the real jail. Town hall for an actual town. Now, I can drop the building on them and capture them. Cut the ropes. Turns out it's just a flat ply plywood like a theatrical set. Crash, the fake building falls over onto the real bandits. Now what? Are they squished and dead? Or are they captured? Good, take them to jail. Travel to Dirtwater. Say, that's the Potemkin gang. How'd you get them? Pushed them to jail over on them? What? Never mind. Got a thousand meat. Alright. I did not manage to capture this first group. I think I accidentally killed them. Yep. Alright, next up. Wanted poster. The Black Hat Bandits for horse theft and stealing of counterfeit glue. Last scene headed north towards the old millinery. I think I have that on my map. Yeah, I surely do. Let's check that out. There's a dusty wooden crate lying near the trail and it turns out to be half full of old dynamite. That's uh, probably not something that should just be laying out in the sun like that. Got five dynamite. Heck yeah. Hats. It's the law! Skedaddle! The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each of them shutting themselves behind a different door. You'll have to wrangle them out individually. This patch of filthy floor wears a lot of hats. Brims? <laughs> These crates are full to the top with brims. <laughs> These hats look like they're more comfortable to sit on than to wear. Oh, I can set the piano? Public Domain Joe. <laughs> that, yeah, that sure is not the, uh... Is this where they're hiding? Yeah, got one. You don't know much about hat making, but you know this doesn't make any sense. Dense, okay. Well, don't know about that room. Or that one. Wait, 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 wait. This was called... Okay, you already caught the band in that room. Dents. Is one of them dented differently? That one just wiggle. It did. Got her. Number three. Liners. I mean, I wouldn't know till I looked under it. Hmm. Not sure about that room. Let's check number four. Squatchies. I don't know what a squatchy is. They're, they, these are parts for some weird kind of hat you'd never wear. What? 
One of the hats is snoring. I don't know if you can hear that. It gets louder when I get closer. Oh, it's this one. Neat. Got one. Okay. So I need this one. Oh. He's whistling. He likes the music outside. Public Domain Joe. What if I change the music again? The yellow rose of public domain. Don't recognize this one. My old public domain home. The office. Pick the lock. Remaining bandits will corner you if you go in now. Better take care of them first. Alright, number three. Liners. None of them are behaving any differently when I get near them. Given the quality of the one-liners around here, you don't need multiple. That's, that's a funny joke, actually. But, what does it want me to know around here? Hmm. I feel like if I make a wrong choice, I'm going to end up killing one of them. And then I won't get the bonus for bringing them back alive. Do I need to turn this up a little bit? Is there another audio cue? They wouldn't do the same trick twice, surely. Alright, fine. We're googling it. West of Loathing. Hat liners. The guy in room number three doesn't have as big of a dent in his hat. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, god dang it. Just spot the difference. How was I so foolishly blind? Alright, they're captured. Deal with them. Turn them in. Thousand more meat. Oh no, I gotta... Shit, I need to get the thing out of the office. Wanted poster. The Gherkin brothers for kidnapping, bringing, bribing, kidnapping victims, and attempting... Attempted sale of human flesh for consumption. Last scene headed for the old abandoned pickle factory. Uh, not right now. Need to go back to the old millinery. And break into the office and see what we can get. Books. Several years worth of hat magazines. Hat trend, hat and head, hats today, and what, that kind of thing. Guy that sat here wore a lot of hats, but he made even more. A safe that we can't crack. Alright, well, nothing there, actually. As it turns out. Uh, alright, well, I guess that'll do for this episode, then. Next time, we'll check out Breadwood and Hellstrom Ranch, I guess. Uh, hey, thanks for watching, YouTube. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Soldier, look, it's like I told you. Any damn fool that's in distress, be out of that dress when she meet Jim.